Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Konievsky. At the IAM's Legislative Conference on Capitol Hill this year, members had a full plate of issues. Items ranging from Amtrak to trade, from NASA to manufacturing. But it was the jobs issue that topped the list. We have a full schedule. We have a lot of issues uh, on the table. They're all about jobs, our jobs, and our children's jobs, jobs for our families. No one was mincing words at the IAM's legislative conference this year. The message came through loud and clear, and the machinists were ready to take that message to Capitol Hill. You were given a voice, arms, eyes, ears, feet. Do something with them, and do it as a union. And they'll know we mean business. Jobs. According to the IAM, that should be the focal point of everyone in Congress. And it's the message the members took to their representatives in D.C. But for those congressional members who aren't looking out for the middle class, the machinists plan to use their votes during election time to make a difference. Going and voting are important. Participating in the process is important. Your livelihood, your community, your state, and your nation depend upon it. They can't take your heart, they can't take your soul, they can't take your determination, and they sure as hell can't take your vote. But here in this room, the machinists got a chance to hear from some of the fighters in their corner. The ones who understand that labor sets the tone for workers everywhere. But for the first time in eight years, you have an open door at the Department of Labor. And collective bargaining and the big L word, labor, is not a bad word. It represents working men and women across this country for generations. Union's not a dirty word at all. Unions can save this country, and I mean that. Unions collectively can get together and save this country and make the rest of the country understand that you set the bar for what is going on for all workers in America. And that is our challenge right now. The IAM members here and around the globe are ready to take on this fight and make sure there are jobs for their children and their grandchildren. Transportation is one sector the IAM believes could make a huge difference in America. The machinists know this is an industry that could produce profitable green jobs now that will change the future for the generations that come later. It's an idea that will put thousands of Americans back to work right away. If the Congress were to pass a transportation bill, that would equal a jobs bill. That would put our friends and neighbors all over America to work, building roads, building bridges, building runways, building infrastructure, building transit systems, helping the airline industry. And a commitment to developing a 21st century passenger rail network will also provide a significant boost to the manufacturing sector, creating green, high-wage jobs for thousands of people. Additionally, well over a million people could be employed in constructing the network and thousands more in operations and maintenance. Studies indicate that 24,000 manufacturing and construction jobs are created for each $1 billion of rail investment. I do not like them. But to the machinist, a good job is more than just a paycheck. It's a way to take care of the ones they care about. Like when you're talking to the American people, they don't care about H.R. 1643. They don't care about your 32-point talking point memo on why we need to pass protection for people in the workplace. They care about their friends and their neighbors and the values they grew up with. This year's legislative conference took Capitol Hill by storm. Local lodges from as far away as Alaska sent hundreds of members to D.C. to talk to their lawmakers on Capitol Hill. In fact, half of each day of the conference was put aside solely for lobbying.
For more news, you can log on to goiam.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Machinist News Network.